Alright, that's fine for my dear. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Scorpion. I'm just trying to learn how to use this new camera that I bought again. But um, hopefully it records right because I'm looking dead at the camera lens. I want to give a shout out to all the new subscribers that subscribe to the Scorpion Show over this weekend. Thank y'all so much for subscribing. Please make sure you tell all your friends to subscribe to the Scorpion Show. I want to give a shout out to my friend who came up from ATL. Not going to say no names. I enjoyed this weekend with you and all our friends. We had a nice time at Shampoo, which was on First Fridays. Then we went to Miss Tootsie's. So I had a wonderful time with you. Can't wait to see you again in ATL, which I will be there Labor Day weekend for all the subscribers. With all the other YouTubers, such as Watu, I So Love London, Lionel, um, Blue Eyed Simba, Be Heard, who is not a YouTuber, and, or oh, I hope I'm not forgetting anybody, and your boy Nunu. I actually was forgetting somebody. Now, today is Music Film Monday. All I have on this list here is nothing but music. I didn't put these girls on this list, but um, a, a lot of you guys keep asking me about Rich Girl versus um, Electric Red. And for me, I like, I only heard one song from Rich Girl and I liked it, I really loved it. And each of the girls sang individually and they all could sing. That was very important, they all could sing. Kind of like in Vogue where they all can sing. But the only but that I had was, you had a girl that was kind of like a Beyonce sound alike, a Beyonce look alike, a Kelly Rowland look alike, and a J-Lo look alike. Now y'all probably wouldn't agree with me, but they got this new video up where they be singing real fast and laying all around in this box. Can't remember the name of the song, but they gave me, that's the type of vibe that I got from them. But they all can sing and I wish them the best. Electric Red is like a group where you want to just groove to their music. You know, it's kind of like laid back and chill. That's what I got from it. So, who's better? I would pick Rich Girl over Electric Red. But, you know, I haven't heard Electric Red album. They do have an album out. If you don't have it, it's called How To Be A Lady. Volume 1. So make sure y'all go pick that up. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, well, everybody everybody should be on Twitter. If you're not, make a Twitter account. Follow Scorpion. Also, follow Mikkel. There's been a lot of BET Awards, Twititions, and I'm really not for that. And I'm kind of upset with BET because they should be putting people on this show where they know that their ratings are going to be higher because their ratings haven't been good for the past couple years. So you got Jamie Foxx. He should be funny. He should liven up the broadcast. You got Beyonce performing. You got Neo performing. Who else performing? Maxwell is performing. And that's just about all I know. So right now, y'all should be hyping everything up so where people can, whoever work on Sunday, can call out from their job on Sunday and be like, shit, I gotta watch the BET Awards. I'm not really hyped up for it now, I'm not. Only person that I, right now that I say they should put on there is Jay-Z. And by the way, <coughs> excuse me, he got this new song called Death or the Auto Tune. I don't really like it like that. I think he should have sung about something different. Just because Jay-Z say, oh, let's sing about ending auto-tune, do you think auto-tune is going to stop? Hell no. Jay-Z just, because he's on top right now, you know, he's just coming at the people that do the auto-tune. And I don't think he should have did that. I don't like the song. I think he should come out with a new single. Over the weekend, I heard Mary J. Blige and Drake. Um, it was called Nothing On Me. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And Mary J. Blige is what we need right now, you know? Mary is one of them singers where she released the album every two years. She get on a promotion trail, she go on tour, take a break, and you be like, where the fuck is Mary J. Blige? I can't wait for her to come back out. And that song, I liked it. I believe it was produced by Rodney Jerkins. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And I still don't understand what this big hype about Drake is. You know, he rapped really good on the song, but I'm just not sold yet. Sorry, I'm just not sold. I seen the video premiere for uh, Jordan Sparks Battlefield. I liked the song, didn't really like the video like that. But um, you know, Jen Jennifer Sparks. Jordan Sparks looked really, really good in that video. But the video just, just didn't do it for me. Kelly Rowland, you know, if you didn't see the new video, it's now posted on David Guetta's, who is the main artist of this song. Well, Kelly Rowland's really the main artist, but it's his song, and she's the feature artist. It's now on his YouTube channel, where you can watch the video, and it's a high quality, so you won't be hearing a bad version of it. Kelly looks beautiful in the video, so make sure y'all check that out. Also, I found out today that Kelly Rowland has a new manager. His name is Jeff Rope. Rope 
it's Rapin or Ra Rabin. Hope I, I'm sorry I couldn't get the name right. I never heard of him before. But congratulations to, to Kelly Rowland because she is really, really promoting. Like she's really on the grind. A year ago we weren't talking about Kelly. We're talking about Kelly right now. So Kelly, just keep doing it. And I can't wait to hear a new album. Hopefully later this year. Also, Kelly and Brandy is back together. Well, friends, if you're following Brandy on Twitter, she said that she's so glad to have Kelly Rowland back in her life. And I'm glad that they're back together. Now, do we get a song or something? Can we get a song? Wouldn't y'all love to hear Kelly and Brandy on a song together? I would. But don't put Serena on it because she's going to fuck the whole song up. Uh, speaking of Brandy, by the way, um, she has a song with Genuine, and it was called Bridge of Love. I loved it. It was a really good song, and it's like one of those little classic R&B songs. It's not too much going on. It's just their voices and stuff, you know, you know, singing. It's really good. I still prefer Brandy and John Legend, and they need to um, release that song quickly. I don't know if it's ever going to be a video or a single, but... You know, if I was Brandy, I'd be trying to get John Legend to get him to come out with that single. Um, Latoya, She Ain't Got Shit On Me. I love that song. The new video is coming. It should also, the song is also available on iTunes. I purchased the song on iTunes today. And you should also purchase the song on iTunes. Don't get the uh, edited version. Get the explicit version where she says she ain't got shit on me. And Latoya sounds good. You know, I can't wait to see this video hopefully she brings it on this video and her album lady love comes out august 25th for those who don't know um sierra she had a preview of uh work her new video where it kind of looked like military style i enjoyed it i can't wait to see this video and you know sierra again she cannot let us down anymore with whack ass videos so she has to just keep bringing it every time she said 2009 was hers She's still having a hard time proving it, but, you know, she keeps working and working and working. Maybe she'll improve, and, you know, everybody will go out and buy her album and shit. Um, what else did I have on here? Trey Songs with Ego. I listened to it the other day. I enjoyed that, too. You know, now I'm waiting for an album. Trey, when, if y'all, can y'all let me know when Trey Songs have an album coming out? Um, again, my second favorite group, which are the Black Eyed Peas. I never said it earlier, but... I said it on Twitter today, my second favorite group, Black Eyed Peas, new album, The End, The Energy Never Dies, comes out tomorrow, and I will be going to Target, my damn self, and purchasing the double disc set, and I will be giving you guys a review on the Black Eyed Peas, The End, and it's just, they just work so well together, and I just love the energy from them, like, I just love them all together. I became a fan of the Black Eyed Peas when Ella Funk came out, or you could say when Fergie joined the group. Cause they've been doing their shit before Fergie, so Fergie made me like them. And anything else that I need to talk about? I think that is all. I think that is all. Um, Mikel and I did a couple videos over the weekend. If I decide not to do a video, I will upload those videos. Cause I'm noticing that you guys don't watch every video or it's not aware of the new videos that are up. So I want to give you guys a chance to start watching those videos before I go into video overload with you guys. So, um, oh, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. But still, I don't want to keep uploading videos and y'all not watching them and rating and commenting and stuff. So I want to give y'all a chance to catch up. Christina Aguilera has a new album coming out this September, and it's called Light and Darkness. Now, already we got... Whitney Houston, by the way, she has a photo shoot on YouTube. Y'all need to look at it because Whitney looks fucking good. She looks amazing. I'm still hoping that her voice sounds amazing too. But anyway, we got Whitney coming out in September. We got Jay-Z coming out in September. We now have Christina Aguilera coming out in September. And we also have Mariah Carey coming out in September. So, you know, with everybody releasing their music in September, I'm wondering how the 2010 Grammy Awards is going to be. Because, you know, September 30th is the cutoff. So, hopefully we have a good Grammy Awards this year. Hopefully we have a good BET Awards this year. Hopefully you have a good MTV Music Awards this year. You know, I don't want any boring award shows. They got to bring it every time. And my throat is getting tired from talking so much. Please rate and comment this video. Please tweet this video on Twitter. You know, all you have to do is click share video, click Twitter, put your Twitter password in, and then upload it to Twitter. It only takes a 
about 10 seconds. These damn motorcycles. Okay. Also, um, if you're not following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash scorpion. Also, follow Mikel, twitter.com slash mikel86. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.